this week's science is going to be a really exciting investigation all connected to the tin forest. Can you remember in the book how the man used recycling to create a forest? Some of those things were tin, metal. And can you remember how he had a wonderful idea to do with a light bulb? We're going to have a wonderful idea with a light bulb. Are you ready? We're going to make an electrical circuit using things that we can find in our house. Here we go. Simple electric circuits. A torch makes light using electricity. How does it work? This experiment shows how electricity flows around a loop to make the bulb light up. You will need a work surface, a battery, short, thick elastic band, scissors, some kitchen foil, and the kind of bulb you might find in a child's torch, not an LED bulb, but one with a filament in, just a small one. Preparation, make a circuit. Fold each of the pieces of foil in half twice, lengthways, to make thin strips of foil. Put this small elastic band lengthways around the battery so that it goes over both metal terminals of the battery. Put one end of each foil strip under the elastic band to each end of the battery. Make sure the two strips do not touch each other, otherwise an electric current will flow. A torch bulb has two terminals or contacts. One is the metal casing below the base of the glass on the thread or screw point, and the other is right at the bottom. Wrap the end of the foil strips around the metal casing and twist it to make it stay in place. Make sure the strip does not touch the contact at the bottom of the bulb. Once you've done this, you're ready to test your circuit. Let's see how Amber and Isaac did that. Isaac, where do you think we might need to put the bulb? Because it's not working down there. On the battery. You think we might need to put it on the battery. Does that work it? No. No? Shall we try one more way? Mm. What do you think you need to do, Isaac? I've already done it like that. That's it, Isaac. Two contact points. Well done. Right at the bottom and then at the top. Not on top of the bulb. That's it, just there. Perfect. Clever boy. See, they did get the light bulb to work, didn't they? Just using the tin foil and a battery. It's almost like magic. I wonder if you could record how you made a circuit, just like Amber and Isaac have done. Here you go. Now you know all about electric circuits, I wonder if you can guess how you would make the light brighter. Could you add a battery? Shall we see what happens when you do? Here we go. Okay, so Amber, shall we have a look and see if we can make that bulb even brighter? What do you think, Isaac? Maybe try putting these two batteries together and then put the battery Put the light bulb on the tin foil. Okay, why do, you, why do you think two batteries will make it brighter? Because then you have more energy and more electricity to make the light bulb work. Let's see if it works. Does it make it brighter? Let's see. Oh, you are such good scientists. Are you ready? We're going to do something a little bit more exciting now. I want you to go and find some objects from around your house just like we did. And we're going to decide whether or not these objects make the electricity flow around the circuit or don't. A conductor is an object that allows electricity to flow through it and an insulator is something that stops the electricity flowing through so it won't make the light work. Which ones do you think are going to make the electricity flow through the circuit and make the light work and which ones won't? Which ones are insulators and which ones are conductors? This is our prediction, our scientific guess. So here we go. This is the result of our experiment. These are the things that conducted electricity and these are the things that insulated electricity. Okay, so we're going to test the insulators and conductors. So we've still got our circuit, but now we've got a little gap in the middle and we're going to see if we can put different things in between that gap and see if the light bulb still lights. So we're going to start with a paper, paper. clip which is made out of metal. Let's see if that works. So we put the paper clip on both ends. It works. Is it working? Yeah. Yay. So is that a conductor or an insulator? It's a conductor. Is it a conductor? Does it conduct electricity? Conductor. It's a conductor, that's right. 
Okay, Isaac, shall we try the metal wooden spoon? So put one end on the foil. Perfect. And we'll put this end on this foil. Is that working? No. So what is it? Because it's not touching. Is it because it's not touching? Make it touch then. It's a Make sure your circuit's No, an insulator. It's an insulator. So a wooden spoon is a... Insulator! Can you see what the insulators have got in common? And what the conductors have got in common? What are all the conductors made out of? That's right, metal, just like the tin foil. Let's see if you can record your experiment, just like we did. That's brilliant science this week, year one. Remember to share your ideas with me on Class Dojo or on the email just below. Take care, little scientists. See you soon. Bye.